Hi guys, welcome back to Battlefield Hardline. I've um, been meaning to make this for a few days now, but it's taken quite a long time to get around to doing it. Um, it's a video about all the sites, um, so I'll show you all the sites on the SMGs. I'm going to be using the MPX and the UMP45, because I've locked all the sites on both. Um, it's quite a costly affair if you start paying for a lot of sites that you don't want. Um, obviously people that haven't got the amount of time to put into it. You know, you don't really want to be opening up sites that you think, oh, this is pretty enough. So I've created this video to show you all the sites so you can see what they're like, uh, what they're like in action. And then you'll probably want to avoid a couple of them, particularly the night vision ones. I don't think they work very well, the SMGs at all. But whilst making the video, uh, I definitely came across a very good find. And the fact that the the mid-range scopes work pretty good with the, the MPX. Um, now the, the build that I was using for that was the stock and the muzzle brake. And I'm actually very, very surprised at how well some of these work. Um, so you'll see later in the video how well they work. It doesn't, doesn't have as much recoil um, as much as I thought. As long as you're in close vicinity, you can actually get very, very good shots on the enemy and it's very good at taking them down. So we'll start at the top of the list, the Reflex RDS. It's a red dot sight, but it has a little, like a little yellow triangle in the middle, as you'll see here. It's quite a small reticle there. The actual viewable area through the lens isn't particularly big, so it's not one I particularly like using. So you can see there, close up, it just blocks out a lot of the view. Big chunky bottom ends, so uh, I don't particularly like that one. I have all the um, top top sides at the top there. Now the Comp M4S, I, I think it's probably one of the better of the little dot sights. You see here, I'm setting up with the stock and the muzzle brake um, with the, the MPX, very good setup. You see here's a lot bigger viewing area. A nice little dot sight doesn't really block out much what's going on around you. There's a lot to view, so I really like this sight. It works very well with the SMGs. Great target acquisition. And when you know when you're close up, you can see there. You can see the whole of the enemy, even though he was pretty close to me. Uh, the Micro T1. Uh, this is quite a small sight as well. So when you compare it to, to the last site there, you can see there's only a very small area to look through. It doesn't take up a huge amount of space. I mean, you can see around it, you know, visually it's not impairing too much. But there's just that very small, small reticle again. So you've got to be, you've got to be pretty, pretty sharp on, you know, the person you're shooting. At least when you're close up, you know, you can actually see the enemy around you. But uh, again, it's probably not one I would use myself. Compared to the R, the SRS-02. Next one down on the list. Uh, this has got a much bigger viewable area. Even though it's got a chunky rim around the outside, it's a bigger area. So at least, you know, you can actually see the target a bit clearer which is what I like on the SMG. You've got to be able to see the target clearly. Particularly in a game like this where, you know, movement, speeds and flows. You know, when someone moves and starts sprinting, there's a kind of an imbalance of speed. You can see there close up, you can see the whole of the, the character. Very good for snapshots like that. Much better than the small, those small lens ones like the micro. Good for big street scenes as well, particularly in banking where you can see a lot of going on around you. Again, it's nice dot sight as well. So just that small dot in the middle, clearly able to, you know, pick the target out. Now the Cobra's probably one of my favourites, and I know a lot of people like this. It's a very small rim. So you can see here, there's a very small rim, which allows you to see all around what you're shooting at as well. So it's not blocking out anything. It's quite a bit chunky bottom end to it, but otherwise, definitely one of the best for the urban fights. It really doesn't block anything out. So I like using that one a lot. Probably 
probably my most used um, sight in the game, I would say. But I have started using the, M the M4S a lot more as well, because that's a really nice sight. <coughs> The UMP is pretty good for support play, it's just a little bit more accurate, but it's not the kind of thing I would normally do. Just purpose of the video, I'm just showing you that. It's not great for picking out targets at distance, but for short range. I don't know how that guy got there. <laughs> I was literally just stood there. I got that one. So as you're looking down the side there, you can clearly see everything around you. It's a definite must buy, I'd say. If I had a dot sight, it would be just the perfect one. I'm not sure, sure I like the little line across the, the middle there, but it's still pretty good. Now the holographics uh, is pretty much the same in all games. I've, I've never used it. I don't like it. Um, it's kind of a square looking lens, big chunky thing. So as you put it up to the face, I mean, it looks like the dashboard of a car. <laughs> it's just, it's too big. It's offensive, you know. An SMG, you want to see what's going on around you in close quarters in combat, like, particularly you know games like this. In and around maps like this, you don't want that blocking out everything that's going on around you. So definite not buy for me. <coughs> now the PKS, again, this is quite a nice little sight. Out of the smaller lenses, out of the small dot sights, I would say this is probably the best. Everglades, great fun. Never forget that bike. So see here, nice little dot sight. Uh, it doesn't block out anything either side as well. The bottom, the bottom of the sight is quite small, so it gives you good vision around. And you know, getting cl close quarters, you can see a lot around you. Nice little sight. It's good. I don't quite like that chunky thing on top, but you can see around the sight, all down that bottom area. It's good, good vision doesn't impair what's going on around you. Good reticle on it. You can see the Apex is actually pretty good at picking off um, medium distance as well. Best thing on Everglades, motorbikes. Can't beat the Everglades motorbike running, it's great fun. Always jumps around. I had to leave this in one of my favourite kills ever. <laughs> it's just... Can't beat getting off a bike and shooting someone. Got that one. He's out. The more I use the MPX, the more I like it as well. I think this guy must have reincarnated himself in the middle of the pond and roaming over. <laughs> Now I'll go into the two different night scopes in the same same part of the video. The infrared and um, the night vision. I don't particularly like them. I mean, this one's got a t you know, times two. See there, it just kind of highlights the people, black and white. It's, um, it's a bit of a strange, bit of a strange scope. I'd like to, I'd like it on a an assault rifle, but on an SMG, that doesn't work for me. Um, it makes a lot of the map look quite dull and dark, so unless you're actually pointing at the enemy, you can see all around the scope, just blacked out. So you've got no vision around you. Again, see this thing, massive chunky thing, blocks out all vision around you, unless what you're pointing at. Um, so I don't particularly like this lens. It doesn't work for me. I mean, out of the two scopes, this is probably the one I would not choose. You can hardly see the enemy. Look, see this guy shooting at me over here. You can hardly make out the target. Look, it's not quite working there. Now, the other optic night vision, this is going to highlight it in a kind of a yellowy, yellowy green. At least it highlights the enemy a bit, which is one thing. Um... So at least you have got something to aim at. Again, I don't like the glare from this one because of the bright lights making the glare in the lens. So it's again, it's not something that I would use. There might be a use for it somewhere in the game, but 
than me when you're running around with an SMG, you just want a nice clear vision, quick easy target acquisition, you want to see what you're shooting at. Unless they're right in front of you, these scopes don't particularly work that well. Now the mid-range scopes, like I said earlier, this um, with the MPX, pretty surprised how well they worked with uh, the muzzle brake and the stock. I was very surprised. I don't particularly like this first one. It's got a very big chunky rim to it. So again, you can see when you're looking down the scope, that big outer rim there, it's not great. So it's not the one I would use out of them. But as you zoom in, it does give you a really nice kind of clear view of the image. Now this is the one I like, the PO. This is kind of like the M4S, um, just a maybe you know, a bigger version. So you've got good target acquisition, nice big round lens. <coughs> Doesn't really block out much around you, so you can see clearly. Kind of a nice dot scope. Good reticle, actually. Um, it works extremely well with the MPX. It's probably one of my favourite setups now when I'm doing the best best gun guide for the SMG, particularly the MPX. This will be probably one of the best setups I've got. Very, very good. I mean, you zoom in at uh, the enemy. Close range, it's not too bad because you can see. There's, you know, there's a lot of vision there. But um, once you stood off the enemy a little bit, it does allow you to pick them out very well. So I had some very, very good games with this setup. And after making this video, I actually set up one of my loadouts with this particular loadout. And I carried on having some really good... I just got to rank 50. Woohoo! So you can see here again, zooming in on the enemy, it really picks them out really well. So the, out of the mid-range scopes, this is a pretty much, a, I'd say, must-buy. And this on an assault rifle would be superb. As you can see there with that setup, it's um, done, me, done me pretty good then. Highly recommended. Uh, the ACOG, the good old ACOG. See there is quite a chunky outer rim, I find it quite distracting. I like the dot in the middle of the scope, I do like that. This is quite funny. Don't know. <laughs> I get chucked off the bike and the bike carries on and parks itself. <laughs> Fun stuff. You can see this sight here, it's quite chunky on the outside, nice dot in the middle. But those four bolts, like, on the outside just look a little bit weird. Quite, quite distracting. Shoot him in the bum. I had to leave this in, this is just the biggest noob tube moment ever. <laughs> the twat. <laughs> uh, so you can see, it's good at picking out a distance, really nice scope of picking out a distance. Out of the, the PO and this, I would go with the PO myself. I like the dot, but I don't like the scope in particular in the build. The thing is, I mean, if you're an accurate player and you zoom in on the enemy, then it does give you great clarity of what you're shooting at. Whereas, you know, the smaller one-time scopes, you've, you've got slightly more of a, a black object, you know, the kind of the shorter to medium distance. When they're close up, there's nothing like the, the M4S. That's a really, really good sight. But when they're just a little bit further away and you're shooting down the channels, the range scopes work well. You'll see here, I mean, this is just fantastic. Particularly with this MPX, it just works so well. It allows you to pick the target out, clearly shoot at them, you don't have to be stood too close. <coughs> Not so great a distance, but it does allow you just to give a bit of support play from that distance. And you can hardly miss with the MPX on this setup. It's so accurate, I'm really surprised. I mean, this, this guy's quite far away, you can see me, I pick him off, so they do work well with this gun. And that's the situations like that, they work so well, because they really do clearly pick out the enemy. 
And on to the last one, the PSO one. This is a times four scope and out of the four. I don't like this one at all. And you can see here a very big thick chunky outer rim blocks out a lot of what's going on on the screen. And so again when you have to point straight at the enemy in order to see it really. It's gonna block out a lot of what's going on around you. Definitely more of an assault rifle scope that one. Hopefully you can see the difference between the four of them now and compare them. You would want to, you know, pick out one or the other. You know, this this isn't one I would use. Okay, so that's all the sites. Um, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you think it helped, like the video, give us a thumbs up, and I'll be looking more into the SMGs, you know, individually now. So I'll be making some you know, kind of best best gear guides for those. So I'll catch you again soon. Okay, cheers, guys. Bye.